Today's commencement ceremony is unlike any other in the 127-year history of MCW. The shared threat of the COVID-19 pandemic has brought the world to a temporary standstill and forced us to live, learn, and work differently. To our graduating students in the schools of pharmacy, medicine, and graduate studies, I thank you for your flexibility, maturity, and resilience. We're proud of you for your responses to this unprecedented challenge and to the disruption of your studies. Thank you for your leadership, empathy, and trust in science. Thank you for being champions of rationality and for being so caring and supportive of your colleagues and patients throughout your education and especially during the pandemic. Thanks also to those of you who've supported our graduates during this time of social distancing by connecting to you with love, grace, and equanimity. Your parents, significant others, spouses, children, friends, and loved ones, we're deeply grateful to you. To our graduates, the COVID-19 pandemic has prepared you well to meet the challenges of healthcare, science, and leadership. Today is the day you will achieve a milestone and will take the next steps in your lives and careers of service. You will join the ranks of healthcare providers, healers, and scientists as our colleagues and our inspiration. Thank you. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, permit me to extend our sincere congratulations to each and every graduate. We take great pleasure and great pride in your singular accomplishment. As you commence your new beginnings as a physician, as a scientist, or as a servant of the public health and ethics, we salute you and we wish you well. During these times of unprecedented change, as we all battle COVID-19 in our community, we know that as you take your oath, you're gonna go forward and serve our community well. And we know that you each will bring great honor upon yourselves and also upon your alma mater. So congratulations and our very best wishes to you. President Raymond, members of the board, faculty leaders, family members and loved ones, and most importantly, our graduates. Today's commencement ceremony is being held at an unprecedented time in our lives. The coronavirus pandemic has changed every facet of our society and our world, and has required us here at the Medical College of Wisconsin to adjust our approach to everything we do as well, including our education and graduation of one of this nation's most important and precious assets, tomorrow's healthcare providers and scientists. To our graduating pharmacy, PhD, and master's degree students and medical students, I greatly appreciate your support, flexibility, and resilience as we were forced to alter your educational and research experiences in the name of health and safety. No one could have predicted this turn of events or have planned for such a scenario in advance. I am deeply grateful for the manner in which you have approached this unprecedented disruption in your graduation year. As an alumnus of the Medical College of Wisconsin and someone who has spent my entire faculty career here at MCW, I have never been more proud of the people of MCW, and most particularly, our learners. We are so very proud of your response to the difficulties in learning brought on by the COVID-19 pandemic. Facing enormous challenges, you have responded with courage, resolve, exemplary professionalism, and volunteerism qualities that exemplify the very best in those that seek to be healers and to discover new knowledge to change lives. And never have these qualities been more needed in our world than they are today. I also wish to recognize those who have stood by your sides as you've navigated not only these difficult times, but also the many other times in which you have needed support and encouragement as you've reached this enormous achievement. Those family members and loved ones who are with you today as you receive your degrees have been an invaluable part of this journey, and I know you will thank them in a special way today as you celebrate together. As I've video chatted with many of you over the last several months, I know that this worldwide pandemic has allowed a preparation and maturation for the future in ways not possible under normal circumstances. And your journey and upward path at MCW has prepared you well to meet the challenges of medicine, pharmacy, and science.
We, the medical school class of the year 2020, are pleased to honor the graduates from the medical school class of 1970. It is, at best, a difficult task to try to contemplate the scope and magnitude of medical knowledge that has accrued in the past 50 years. Those of us graduating today can only imagine the dramatic changes which have transformed the practice of medicine. Those who truly can appreciate the advance of medicine are physicians who entered the profession decades ago. They have a special vantage point from which to observe what has transpired. The names of the 50-year alumni, members of the class of 1970, are included on the screen. We're sorry that the COVID-19 pandemic has prevented us from greeting you in person today. But we would like to honor you and thank you for helping to build the legacy of our great institution. Victor Barnett is founder and executive director of Running Rebels Community Organization. In 1980, as gangs were beginning to form in Milwaukee, Victor saw a void that needed to be filled. He believed that the right relationships and activities would keep youth from gangs, violence, substance abuse, and other negative behaviors. Dawn Barnett is the co-executive director for Running Rebels Community Organization. She has worked with her husband, Victor Barnett, since 1997. Together, Victor Barnett and Don Barnett have guided the organization's growth from a basketball-based mentoring program to a full-service agency with 143 staff members serving over 3,000 youth each year. James C. Ron serves as president of the Kern Family Foundation. In that role, Mr. Ron has served doctors Robert D. and Patricia E. Kern, the Kern Family, Foundation Board, and team in pursuit of the Kern's philanthropic vision. The Foundation's mission is to empower the rising generation of Americans to build flourishing lives anchored in strong character and inspired by quality education. The Foundation's approach to movement, building, and culture change led to investments by the Kern family and Foundation that launched the MCW Kern Institute for the Transformation of Medical Education and the Kern National Network for Caring and Character in Medicine. In 1966, Dr. Solomon Snyder joined the faculty of the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine as assistant professor of pharmacology. He quickly rose through the ranks and was promoted to professor of pharmacology and psychiatry in 1970. In 1980, he established the Department of Neuroscience and served as director from 1980 to 2006. He is presently distinguished service professor of neuroscience, pharmacology, and psychiatry. Dr. Snyder is the recipient of numerous professional honors, including the Albert Lasker Award for Basic Biomedical Research in 1978. He is a member of the United States National Academy of Sciences and the author of more than 1,000 journal articles and several books. Dr. Tracy Sparrow joined Nextdoor as president in 2015. She previously served as vice president for children's programs at the Milwaukee Center for Independence and as president of the Milwaukee Academy of Science Charter School. The school was a passion of MCW President Emeritus Mike Bolger as an effort to increase minority representation of medical students at MCW. Over the years, Dr. Sparrow has had the opportunity to form partnerships on behalf of her organizations with a number of different departments at MCW, most recently with the New School of Pharmacy. Our last honorary degree recipient and today's keynote speaker is Dr. Renee Chapman Navarro, a professor of anesthesiology and perioperative care. In 2010, she was appointed as the University of California, San Francisco's inaugural vice chancellor of diversity and outreach. She is the first African-American woman and first anesthesia faculty member to be appointed to the chancellor's executive leadership team at UCSF. She has held several leadership positions at Zuckerberg San Francisco General Hospital, including chair of the pharmacy and therapeutics and risk management committees and acting chief of anesthesia. She served for 10 years as the medical director of perioperative services and was elected by her peers to serve as the chief of the medical staff.
Thank you, President Raymond. Deans, faculty, staff, students and alumni of the Medical College for this invitation to speak to your graduating class. It is an incredible honor to receive this opportunity. Most importantly, congratulations to the class of 2020. To your families, friends, and additional loved ones, congratulations to you as well. None of us accomplish big audacious goals alone. The completion of graduate study, medical school, and the inaugural class for the School of Pharmacy is an outstanding achievement. And to accomplish this in the year 2020 during a pandemic marks quite a milestone for all of you in your careers and in your lives. Don't let this challenging time in our history diminish your joy and the celebration of your accomplishments. We need you now more than ever in healthcare and research. Society is depending on you to provide the best, the best evidence-based care public health guidance, and discovery. There are many questions for which science must, and I dare say will, find the answers, and your contributions are critical to these efforts. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed all of our lives and tragically taken the lives of far too many people. The infection has preyed upon the most vulnerable among us, including elderly, and immunocompromised. It has dramatically highlighted the enduring history of discrimination that contributes to health disparities in minority communities as they have disproportionately been impacted by and suffer higher mortality rates at the hands of this virus. Healthcare professionals are the keepers of the health and welfare of our communities. We therefore must work to eliminate the disparities so starkly exposed by this pandemic. As you embark on your career, I call upon you to lead with courage on issues of equity. As providers, scientists, and within systems of care, we must not be complicit with practices and policies that perpetuate inequity. We must speak up. We must understand our own bias and the barriers that contribute to unequal care. How can we talk about quality of care metrics when we find that healthcare providers don't always provide the same quality of care to all patients? How can we ask the right research questions if we don't take the time to engage with a broad variety of brilliant thinkers? There is not an absence of talent across gender, race, ethnicity, orientation, or ability. There is more often a lack of opportunity and a bit of fear regarding others. So I encourage you to face the fear head on. Don't be colorblind as Melody Hobson described, be color brave. We are stronger together and inclusion is our power. We vow to do no harm, but I believe that we can go further and do good. I am inspired by new graduates as you are more informed and have a greater awareness of issues of justice. You are the ones who will solve these challenges. You are the ones who will lead the nation in living the aspirational goal for quality, equitable health care for all. And doing so, you will inspire future generations to learn, love, and lead with science. So it is my hope for you that like me, you recognize that your life as a healthcare and science leader is filled with privilege and blessings. It is also my hope that your work and contributions to others are filled with empathy, curiosity, respect, and caring. That you display empathy as a verb, an action in the caring for yourself, each other, and your patients. That you are curious and perpetually seek the answers to challenges in science, health, and society. That you display respect for all people 
in our common humanity, even if they may personally lack the capacity to be respectful of you. Ultimately, those who become the best in their respective field are the individuals who are driven by a deep sense of caring. Those who truly care for all their patients become the best. Today, we celebrate and honor you. You did it. You have done the hard work and are well prepared to be the courageous health and science leaders we need. Congratulations, class of 2020. I wish you only the best. Good afternoon, graduates, family, friends, and loved ones. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and students of the MCW Graduate School, I want to congratulate the class of 2020 for a job well done. Today is a day for you and your family to celebrate, and for our extended MCW family to celebrate your considerable achievements. However, it goes without saying that this graduation is like no other. We all live in a time of a pandemic. COVID-19 has stolen so much from all of us. It has stolen people's jobs, their health, and for many, their very lives. It has also stolen the opportunity for many of us to work side by side with colleagues. And for you graduating today, the opportunity to celebrate your years of hard work with your friends, family, and colleagues. But our inability to celebrate in person does not diminish from your accomplishments. And what this pandemic has not stolen from us is what today signifies, the extraordinary importance of what you have achieved. And an advanced degree from a world-class institution is an extraordinary achievement. What this pandemic has shown all of us is how vulnerable we are and how much we depend on each other. We are all in this together and we need to take care of each other. But as I think of you, our students, what it has also shown me is how much grit and resilience you all have. Not only have you not wilted in these extraordinarily difficult times, but you have thrived. What these times also reaffirm to all of us is the essentiality of science and intellectual honesty. It is science and rational thought that will get us through these tough times, and it will be you, our next generation of scientists and healthcare workers, that the world will depend on and turn to to prevent future health scourges and pandemics like this one. With those thoughts in mind, I would now like to ask all our graduate students, wherever you are, to stand for the recitation of the MCW Graduate School Oath. This oath signifies your commitment to our MCW academic core values and our commitment to the commonly accepted ethical values of the academic scientific community. I do hereby promise to conduct myself in a manner deserving of inclusion in the community of scholars that I join today by fostering collegiality and engagement. I will disavow prejudice, never allowing financial gain, competition, or ambition to cloud my judgment in the ethical conduct of my craft. I will act with honesty, integrity, and objectivity in the pursuit of constructive knowledge that furthers my discipline and benefits society as a whole. Finally, I will honor the foundation of knowledge that has come before me and the promise of new discoveries to come. The candidates for the degree Doctor of Philosophy. Dr. Amar J. Al Sheikh, Dr. Anthony C. Brandt, Dr. Zachary J. Brandt, Dr. Nicholas J. Burgraf, Dr. Eric M. Clark, Dr. Orlando Delon Jr., Dr. Nicholas T. D. Vogel, Dr. Aaron T. Dirk, Dr. Kathleen J. Dixon, Dr. John M. Egner Jr., Dr. Daniel J. Ferenbach, Dr. Allison L. Huckenpaula, Dr. David M. Jensen, Dr. Caitlin E. Johnson, Dr. Xiaojie Liu, Dr. Sarah Logan, Dr. Natalie N. Nawarawong, 
Dr. Joshua A. Nod, Dr. Michael D. Alt, Dr. Clinton T. Piper, Dr. Cody J. Plasterer, Dr. Emily R. Seminary, Dr. Miguel Sotelo, Dr. Casey R. Vickstrom, Dr. Caleb L. Weinhout, Dr. Peter J. Volberding, Dr. Emily P. Vonderha, Dr. Matthew Waz, Dr. Michael J. Wedemeyer, Dr. Anna M. Williams, Dr. Cheng In Yuan. The candidates for the degree Master of Science. Zachary R. L. Boyd, Madeline R. Brunner, Dr. James H. Jerkins, Ankush M. Karishata, Chong Li, Dustin Lai Fang, Dr. Mina M. Benjamin Mahani, Dr. Amy Moskop, Dr. Timothy J. Ridolfi, Dr. Sakti K. Sundarajan, Jessica Wass, Stephen Wright. The candidates for the degree Master of Medical Physiology. Alyssa M. Asaro, Mackenzie N. Borkovic, Samuel A. Coffey, Adetola Coca, Sarah C. Duval, Erin L. Hankey, Saha S. Juani, Jessica K. Jordan, Joseph A. Paquette, Frank J. Raymond IV, Gian C. Villagomez, Claire G. Vinopal, Jenna C. Wettstein, Matthew J. Wiesner, Timothy J. Weiss. The candidates for the degree Master of Public Health. Maria C. Brady, Rachel D. Helgerson, Brian M. Kazmaski, Skylar R. Kililea, Dr. Casey M. Leitner, Tessa L. Miller, Christina C. O'Brien, Ashley E. Rome. As signified by the oath that you all just took, and as scientists and scholars, you are part of a centuries-old calling to understand the world around you using the tools of rational empirical inquiry and intellectual honesty. As you go forward and make your careers and take up the urgent challenges of the day, I ask you to carry the torch of the scientific tradition high and to be emissaries to society of this powerful and noble tradition. Thank you, congratulations, and good luck. Good afternoon and welcome graduates, family, friends, colleagues, and trustees. I'm sure in the years to come, this inaugural class of Dr. of Pharmacy students will continue to set the bar high as alumni, just as they did as pioneers in the PharmD program these past three years. When we established the School of Pharmacy in 2015, we set out to develop and deliver an innovative PharmD curriculum to produce graduates that embody our vision of pharmacists of the future. I subscribe to you that we have indeed delivered on this promise with these soon-to-be graduates. This ceremony is to recognize and celebrate the accomplishments of the inaugural class, albeit not imagined in this fashion. Yet this is a moment is but a start for what I believe will be the beginning of many more times these women and men are recognized for future professional accomplishments as pharmacists. Today, May 22, 2020, we gather to celebrate their attainment of the Doctor of Pharmacy degree. And now to the inaugural graduates of the Medical College of Wisconsin School of Pharmacy. Congratulations, you did it. As aspiring PharmD graduates, you entrusted your aspirations, perspirations, and at times, yes, vented your frustrations to peers, faculty, administration, and staff of the School of Pharmacy. This is understood. The path you were taken had not been journeyed upon by others. You were and are pioneers. It's hard to recall what's happened in the past three short years. When you joined us, our country was in the middle of a prescription opioid epidemic. 
In some states, marijuana is now legal for medicinal purposes and recreational use. Today, we are engaged in the largest global pandemic in the last 100 years. These examples all involve drugs, medications, vaccines, and people in need of compassion and care. So what will you responsibly be as a pharmacist of the future in events not yet imagined? How will you keep abreast of the new advances in healthcare delivery and new developments in the life-saving and life-extending therapies, new technologies, and the ever-present globalization of our economy, politics, and yes, health and well-being? There will no longer be pre-assessments, IRATs and TRATs, quizzes, tests, and OSCEs, and post-test reviews to guide you. Rather, there will be one ongoing test throughout your professional career of which the examiner is unknown and ever changing. The time frame undetermined and the final assessment is pass fail as you are in a profession that requires precision. But you are ready for that, having been through one of the only PharmD programs in the United States that does not award grades, but rather strives for the attainment of competence. Now it gives me great pleasure to take the oath of a pharmacist with you. I promise to devote myself to a lifetime of service to others through the profession of pharmacy. And fulfilling this vow, I will consider the welfare of humanity and relief of suffering my primary concerns. I will apply my knowledge, experience, and skills to the best of my ability to assure optimal outcomes for my patients. I will respect and protect all personal and health information entrusted to me. I will accept the lifelong obligation to improve my professional knowledge and competence. I will hold myself and my colleagues to the highest principles of our profession's moral, ethical, and legal conduct. I will embrace and advocate for changes that improve patient care. I will utilize my knowledge, skills, experiences, and values to prepare the next generation of pharmacists. I take these vows voluntarily with the full realization of the responsibility with which I am trusted by the public. The candidates for the degree Doctor of Pharmacy. Zachary Agarabi. Lay on. Becca Anton. Arslan Aslam. Lucas Beckman. Kelvi Como. Heather R. Dalton. Jason Dietrich. Jacob Dyer. Eric K. Everton. Lauren Y. Farnsworth. Emily Hansen, Marcus Hogg, Michael Hohenwalter, Tara Hraba, Nathan Jaco, Natalie Yankovic, Gary Karagodsky, Shawnee E. Klatt, Lauren L. Kolb, William J. Krumholtz, Dominika Krinica, Ryan Lindstrom, Jane E. Obradovich, Khalil I. Willett, Inez E. Pabian, Emma Marie Paulson, Margaret Pertzborn, Jennifer Polenska, Marcus A. Rads, Manpreet Ranji, Cassandra Rux, Ryan Sonic, Holly A. Shack, Audrey Y. Schmidt, McKenna R. Schultz, Claire M. Solofra, Alexander S. Thorpe, Christopher Tran, Trong Vu, Emily Wolf. As I look back over my years in the pharmacy profession, I now embody what my father used to say to me. There will be a point in time that freezes in your mind as you look back and forward on your life. I hope this is one of them, a time to reflect upon your accomplishments here at MCW. Please remember when dealing with your patients, in particular the elderly, what you might see is a withered old man or woman that once was full of vibrant life but now robbed by their medical ailments and mental status. A simple gesture or welcome greeting may be the only comfort they receive that day. Compassion will always serve you well as a pharmacist and fellow human being. As I end my remarks, the lyrics of the band Semisonic resonate with me. Closing time, time for you to go out into the world. Closing time, every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. How appropriate. 
As I think about each and every one of you leaving the MCW Milwaukee campus, please remember, you will always be part of the MCW family, the Farmily spelt P-H-A-R-M-I-L-Y, and the inaugural class. You all have indeed just begun. Thank you again for the privilege to have served as your founding dean of the MCW School of Pharmacy. I want to extend a special welcome to the MCW School of Medicine class of 2020. As Dr. Kirshner mentioned in his comments previously, we recognize the challenges you faced in the past few months of medical school. It's been a difficult time. The COVID-19 pandemic has challenged us all to rise up and do better. But we're grateful for your support, for your leadership, and for setting a wonderful example to our younger learners who are going to be following in your footsteps here at MCW. Like your family, your friends, your loved ones, we're also proud of you. We're proud that you've chosen to dedicate your lives and your career to providing better health care for individuals and communities all over the country. We're confident that you'll use your skills, your compassion, your integrity, and your patience to provide excellent care as you practice medicine. So congratulations, class of 2020. I would now like to administer the MCW School of Medicine oath. Please recite the oath along with me. As a member of the medical profession, I pledge to dedicate myself to the service of humanity through the art and science of medicine. The health and well being of my patients will be my first consideration. I will respect the autonomy and dignity of my patients. I will value the individuality of my patients and care for all of them to the best of my ability. I will safeguard the confidentiality of my patients. I will practice my profession with conscience and integrity and in accordance with medical standards. I will share my medical knowledge for the benefit of the community and the improvement of healthcare. I will give to my teachers, colleagues, and students the respect and gratitude that is their due. I will attend to my own health well-being, and abilities so that I am able to provide the best care for my patients. I will engage in honest self-reflection upon my character, acknowledging both my strengths and limitations. I will not use my medical knowledge to violate human rights or civil liberties, even under threat. I make these promises solemnly, freely, and upon my honor. The candidates for the degree Doctor of Medicine and Master of Science. Dr. Chu Yu Julie Chen. Dr. Aditya Ramamurthy. The candidates for the degree Doctor of Medicine. Dr. Michael Anthony Acosta. Dr. Tegan E. Ake, Dr. Savani Aluru, Dr. Angela K. Amos, Dr. Eric R. Anderson, Dr. Clark I. Andrews, Dr. Sogo Ashrafanian, Dr. Jessica T. Ald, Dr. Alexis Rose Baker, Dr. Anna M. Baker, Dr. Lou Ishmael Banlo, Dr. Joseph J. Bartoletti, Dr. David R. Beam, Dr. Brittany M. Becker, Dr. Amin Bimonian, Dr. Adam L. Benjamin, Dr. Eric J. Baubo, Dr. Quinn C. Bongers, Dr. Elijah Jack Bowen. Dr. Christopher Bowman, Dr. Madison M. Bryland, Dr. Sarah M. Brink, Dr. Joshua M. Brooks, Dr. Kanari R. Butch, Dr. Albert S. Bion, Dr. Peter A.J. Capelli, Dr. Nathan J. Carpenter, Dr. Geraldine Kawa Chan, Dr. Justin C. Chen, Dr. Kristen L. Chen, Dr. Minyu Chen, 
Dr. Raisu Chen, Dr. Melinda J. Choi, Dr. Ivan Chow, Dr. Jacob Sila, Dr. Abdul Gafar I. Clark, Dr. Allison N. Cohen, Dr. William S. Collier, Dr. Joshua A. DeYoung, Dr. Mark A. Drake. Dr. Matthew William Avey, Dr. Eric C. Exner, Dr. Oladipo Fagabemi, Dr. Emily Farias, Dr. Ashton Fitzgerald, Dr. Brandon R. Free, Dr. Brett Keith Fullylove Krause, Dr. Sarah Gabriel, Dr. Jacqueline A. Gellens. Dr. Sean R. Garay, Dr. Benjamin Gillingham, Dr. Lyle Glate, Dr. Grace Gloniak, Dr. Matthew J. Gonzalez, Dr. Mark A. Goss, Dr. Crystal J. Graff, Dr. Kim J. Griffin, Dr. Brian J. Hallis. Dr. Hanai Han, Dr. Liana Marie Hansen, Dr. Kelvin A. Harburg, Dr. Jessica A. Hayes, Dr. Hannah K. Heinz, Dr. Lindsay B. Howard, Dr. Sean Halls, Dr. Kristen M. Wynn, Dr. Anthony Y. Ibrahim. Dr. Shankar Iyer, Dr. Neil R. Jariwala, Dr. Jamie A. Jasty, Dr. Kayla Michelle Johnson, Dr. Michael P. Josephson, Dr. Devashish S. Joshi, Dr. Daniel Caden, Dr. Andrew O. Cadlick, Dr. Matthew L. Kamer. Dr. Zia W. Kanani, Dr. Aditya Karen Dekar, Dr. Bavesh Bagarath Katbamna, Dr. Daniel A. Kiesler, Dr. Brian P. Keneally, Dr. Sir S. Khan, Dr. Kavan Kiani, Dr. Catherine L. Kitchen, Dr. Court R. Noose. Dr. John P. Kordaki, Dr. Stephen Patrick Costellino, Dr. Brian Kurtz, Dr. Ryan J. Lau, Dr. Emily M. Laurent, Dr. William Schaefer Lieber, Dr. Stephen J. Lee, Dr. Benita N. Lin, Dr. Sophia M. K. Linda Kugel. Dr. Justin Lynn LeBlanc, Dr. Austin J. Livingston, Dr. Nicholas C. Love, Dr. Kaylee Marie Luck, Dr. Bridget A. Mace, Dr. Mahir Mamaledria, Dr. Allison Reese McCurdy, Dr. W. Riley McDonald. Dr. Michael John P. Mendoza, Dr. Austin H. Middleton, Dr. Hannah T. Millen, Dr. James Joseph Miller Jr., Dr. Lee H. Min, Dr. William A. Montagna, Dr. Patrick F. Moran, Dr. Zoe M. Morgan, Dr. Gulam Mushtaba. Dr. Nicole C. Munshi, Dr. Michael P. Morandian, Dr. Kyle T. Murray, Dr. Evan J. Neighbor, Dr. Claude Gladys Ganzu, Dr. Brian Min Win, Dr. Zach Nigogozan, Dr. Brandy L. Norman, Dr. Bellany N. Zemina. Dr. Michelle Botts Olson, Dr. Bisola Sarah Omauba, Dr. Paul E. Otto, 
Dr. Patrick A. Paulinus, Dr. Demetrius C. Papadimos, Dr. Christina Lewis Hartham, Dr. Rushi D. Patel, Dr. Jacob J. Patz, Dr. Rachel M. Peters, Dr. Quinn A. Pibe, Dr. Zishan Kazi, Dr. Carolyn Wiley Quieri, Dr. Matthew W. Rappel, Dr. Nathan J. Redlick, Dr. Daniel F. Rodman, Dr. Mareka O. Robinson, Dr. Marissa Roman, Dr. Nicole Kyoko Runkel, Dr. Matthew D. Russell, Dr. Aaron L. Sandok, Dr. Mario Alexander Scarpinato, Dr. David M. Schauder, Dr. Kevin C. Schlitt, Dr. Robert E. Schoenfeld, Dr. Victoriana Christine Schwartz, Dr. Stephen J. Sito, Dr. William Shi, Dr. Alyssa M. Sibraci, Dr. Janessa L. Snippen, Dr. Michael F. Sobin, Dr. Stephanie E. Song, Dr. Melissa F. Steig, Dr. Kelly L. Starica, Dr. Andrew P. Stein, Dr. Aurelian F. Stewart, Dr. Alyssa Marie Stiff, Dr. Benjamin R. Stoltz, Dr. Sierra F. Tackett, Dr. Trent N. Taylor, Dr. Joshua G. Thiel, Dr. Monica A. Thomas, Dr. Kelly Marie Tillotson, Dr. Bryce A. Toburin, Dr. Jenya Turgel, Dr. Kimberly Tyler, Dr. Anna Ewan, Dr. Trenton D. Vanderwalter, Dr. Siddhanth Varma, Dr. Osvaldo Velez Martinez, Dr. Sarah Vidovich, Dr. Delaney Elise Wagner, Dr. Christopher Raymond Wagner, Dr. Kelsey M. Walters, Dr. Ann Wanager, Dr. Quinn R. Watson, Dr. Gunnar L. Wheely, Dr. Ross H. Whitlock, Dr. Brady T. Williams, Dr. Stephanie Wong, Dr. Seth C. Workentine, Dr. Matthew T. Wright, Dr. Michael T. Wright, Dr. Yingfei Wu, Dr. Adam M. Winch, Dr. Garrett K. Yu, Dr. Sherman Yu, Dr. Maria Zareff, Dr. Britt David Zaro, Dr. Stephen L. Zhao, Dr. Andrew B. Zolot. Congratulations, class of 2020. We look forward to hearing from you as you move through your career and remind you you'll always be part of the MCW family. As president of the Medical College of Wisconsin, by the authority delegated to me by the Board of Trustees, I confer upon our honorary degree recipients and upon the graduates from the schools of pharmacy, graduate studies, and medicine, your respective master's, doctoral, and professional degrees. Congratulations. We are extremely proud of your many achievements. You are our very best. MCW and its faculty are pleased to have had a part in your preparation and wish you all the best in this next phase of your journeys. We are grateful for you and for what you will do in the future, and we know you will bring much pride to your alma mater. As graduates, you will always be part of the MCW family. Please stay in touch and let us know frequently about all you are doing. We are confident that you are all well prepared to meaningfully engage in the service of others. 
And so, on behalf of the Medical College of Wisconsin, we wish you every success as you begin the next phase of your life's journey. Our very best wishes to you, and congratulations again. I thank you for choosing the Medical College of Wisconsin and for entrusting us with your education and well-being. On behalf of our faculty, staff, alumni, and board of trustees, we welcome you to your professions and eagerly anticipate your future successes, accomplishments, and contributions to the betterment of humankind.